Okay, welcome to another video. If I seem like I'm in a bit of pain, I am. I've pulled something in my arm. Uh, top of my shoulder. Anyway, uh, I haven't done a video for a long time, and you can see I'm in my house. I'm sat down with my computer, and Photoshop have just, or Adobe have just released a kind of AI update. So the last few weeks we've had Firefly, which is their new AI, which is like text to text to image kind of thing, which is fantastic. And that kind of technology is now coming into Photoshop itself. Now there's a few caveats around this. Uh, it is, I mean, a Photoshop have done, or Adobe have done a really good thing whereby they're using images from their own collection in Adobe stock which means that the images that are produced are gonna be commercially usable. Now that's massive. When you consider AI at the moment from things like uh, uh, Dali or uh, Mid Journey, those images are taken straight off the internet. There's been a lot of copyright issues around them. Adobe will not have any copyright issues. They, they are gonna work out some way of paying their stock producers, so the people who upload their images to, to Adobe stock will get revenue, which means you can use the images that are created from this thing for commercial use. That is that. I mean, that in itself is is massive. And on the flip side of that, uh, we now have the generative fill function, which is going to be coming to Photoshop uh, mainstream soon. I imagine that that will be like a kind of paid. You you'll have to buy. As far as I know, you'll have to buy credits to use it. But from what I'm told, you can get a lot of credits. It won't be something that's going to be really expensive. Uh, you'll just have to pay a little bit extra to use this kind of tool. So those, so the creators and, and the creatives that have given up their images to, to be able to use this function are going to get paid, which is a good thing, I think. Uh, certainly from, from a photographer myself, if someone was going to use my images, I'd like to get paid uh, in that sense. That's good. You will need to update... Uh, if you want to use it now, the beta version of Photoshop. It's not currently in the main version of Photoshop. You need to go to the uh, apps uh, in your Creative Cloud. Down the side there to where it says beta apps. And here you'll have show, a Photoshop beta. It'll either say, it currently says open for me because I already have installed it. It'll either say install or update. Potentially it's now up to date. And uh, yeah, from there you can then open up it's uh, the, the, the beta version you'll see down the bottom here i've got the beta version of photoshop alongside my normal version 2023 just there so photoshop now we have this little uh i don't know you, you'd call it it's a uh, just a little taskbar and it has a few things in here it's just going to make your workflow a little bit easier this is this is currently in normal photoshop you can see this but with this, we now have something slightly different. So if I make a selection, any selection, use any selection tool uh, like this, it now changes down here. I'm going to pin this so because it's going to move all the time. Every time you make a selection, it's going to it's going to move the taskbar, so it's going to be up there all the time. And we now have generative fill. We have a few other things here. We have uh, reverse selection uh, and a few other bits and pieces you can use here. Deselect all that kind of stuff. But if I hit generative fill there. I've got a couple of options. The first thing is I can describe what I'd like to generate inside the selective box, or I can just hit generate. Uh, if I was just gonna hit generate, it's gonna just, just do some random thing. Uh, probably will do a very good thing, but in this case, what I want to do here is add uh, maybe reflective pool of water. Let's do that and hit generate. It will take some time. I'm gonna show you in real time this first one, how long it takes. I've got a pretty up-to-date Mac uh, so it's not going to take too long for me. It might take a little bit longer for yourself. I don't know. So we're talking, what, 10 seconds so far, maybe 15 seconds, give or take. It's going to take. And there, look what it's done there. It will look at the whole image. It will determine where the light's coming from, where the perspective's coming from. Uh, it will give us a couple of options. So we've got a couple of arrows here. This is option one of three. So we can go through. That's kind of nice. And then that, 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 and that. And you'll also see on the side here, you've got an extra now properties bar, uh, which has got your prompt in there and then another generate tool. So we can, I actually like this first one, it's quite good. It looks like it's the edge of a pool. And if you look at the perspective, it's looking actually up through and under the legs and there's more of the, the perspective is right, is what I'm trying to say. It hasn't just created a mirror image 
like you would normally do in Photoshop to get something similar to this. Uh, it's actually made a proper reflection, so it's used the right perspective. That is a game changer. That is fantastic. Let's just generate a couple more and see what we do. Every time you hit generate, it's going to give you three more options. They'll all come up on the side here in your variations. Uh, and you can do a couple of bits and, bits and pieces with them. I'm going to show you a little bit later what we can do. I'm going to try and make this, this video not so long if I can. That I really like. I hasn't done too well with the reflection. but Or oh, like that. That's, that's even better. That's nice. It's giving it an edge. It knows where the light's coming from, so there's a bit of a shadow around the edge. And again, that's that. I don't know what that's done there. That's not done too well there. It's added the knee, but it's also added something at the back there. I don't know what that would be. Uh, but when we look at that and the first one, I like the first one. Look, it's, there, there's a shadow underneath here. Look, it's giving it an edge. And it knows that there's light coming from behind. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's funky as hell. Uh, I love it. The other thing uh, you can do here is if you wanted to, if you if you wanted to mess, you can control T this, make it a little bit, maybe uh, slightly bigger, bring it up towards her feet. You will notice that it potentially, let's, let's go over her feet, just there, and then regenerate from there and see what it does. Hopefully, you have to hit, hit enter, uh, hopefully it will keep her feet, and it's just going to do something around her feet, hopefully. Uh, but you can use the same image variation to make it bigger smaller move it around regenerate and see what it gets oh look at that now it looks like a feet are actually in water now i don't know what this is doing on the side here but we've got that oh that i like that's really nice i hadn't done too well on on the the rest of the leg there but i love that what you can do is maybe just uh darken this down and just I mean, it looks like the, she's standing in a pool of water. That is incredible. I love it. I think it's good. I'm getting excited. Uh, there are downsides to, to this whole thing, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on. But let's look at another image. This is Jenny I took when we did our morning shoot. Now, I, I've i got this image and done it at Cam's Hall, which is not too far from where I live. I've obviously edited it quite a bit. I've had a few, few light specs here and there. But what if I wanted this image to be more landscape? Let's see what we can do about cropping this out. So let's give a crop there and another crop there. And OK that. Let's take the marquee tool and just I'm going to overlap the edges slightly. Now they do say sometimes do one side first then the other side. Let's see what, what happens if I do both sides at the same time. Generate. Now I'm not going to actually actually enter anything. I'm going to let it fill those areas with its own AI. I'm going to let it do what it's, I'm, and I've not done to, done it to this image yet. This is the first time I've touched this image uh, to see if I can get this kind of crop. And let's see what it gives us. Should give us a couple of areas. Now there's a lot of area to fill in. These images are quite big, so it's going to take a bit of time. Uh, what I may do if this doesn't work is do one side at a time because uh, it might work that a little bit better. Oh, look at that. That's actually not too bad. It's kept the perspective. It's kept the focus. Look, this is like a tree a bit closer, so it's out of focus. That's really good. Let's have a look at what other variations we've got. That's not too bad. And that's not bad either. Oh, that's really good. I haven't done this to this image yet. I like the first one. This is the first time I've done this to this image. That is so, so good. Really, really good. Really, really good. It's kept the light in. It knows where the light's coming from. You can see that the the uh, the, the branches on the, the, the like the the light on the leaves is still coming from uh, camera right. That is really good. And these are really close. <sighs> that is brilliant. Let's generate some more. Let's have a look. See what else it can do. Uh, the more and more you generate variation especially on a large image is going to take a lot of processing power because the file size is going to get a lot bigger so you have to be a little bit careful with this uh and as i say at the moment this this technology to use this currently is free let's have a look no i still i still like the first one if you've got lots of variations that you don't want to use and you want to keep the file size down you can delete the variations there's a few things you can do uh but i like that one that's nice I like that. You could use that now as like a banner. I could get some text on there. I could use it for my workshops if I wanted to. Uh, commercially usable. 
Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Love that. Brilliant. Okay, now this is an image I put up on on Facebook uh, a few days ago. I the original image is literally what I taken down at Durdle Door. This was a uh, last year or the year before. Lovely sky, loved it, fantastic. I added using this generative fill. Uh, first of all, I added a couple of boats. Uh, they're not fantastic by any stretch. Let's have a look. Uh, the boats are. I mean, they're they're kind of slightly out of focus, so so it's kind of good. But this cut the heel of this boat is kind of out of the water. It doesn't really make any sense. But you'd never know it from from you know viewing it at, at full screen uh, there. And then I added some size. It's done really really well. Obviously, this is this is completely made up. That the, the rock face I think goes right up there. That that's where you you walk up the side of the side of Durdle Door. But looks really good. It's kept the the the, the kind of styling in the clouds. The lighting looks good. That is pretty amazing. You'd never know that if you didn't say. And that's one of the scary things that I'm going to talk about. Now, this is an image I made this morning. It took me about 20 minutes because I've had uh, there were a few ideas I had that didn't quite work. Uh, so I, I messed a few things up. Started out as a blank canvas. Now, this was completely made from scratch. This was me adding. So this this one here, if I go onto there, was wide stream in a dark forest. There's a white edge to that because I extended it later. So don't worry about the moment. So my prompt for this was white stream with a dark forest or in a dark forest. And I ended up using that one. And then I added a new rock. Let's go on there. I had a, I had a few ideas about this rock. So it started out something like this, which was actually over near the middle, which why it doesn't look right. And then I moved it and then it, it got the background right. Uh, and then I ended up on this. I like I like that. I was going to put something like a an animal on it. So I originally started with a deer. None of it quite. This deer was over here, which is why the background doesn't work out. And then I started moving it over. Uh, bear. After black bear, then brown bear. One of them I liked. I think I liked that one or that one, give or take. And then I just got rid of the idea completely. I was looking at, at, at things like a moose. I don't know. Just got a bit random and weird then i started looking at the sky i wanted initially i, I put in uh what was what was the prompt for this the first one was uh dense forest oh so i just had a dense dense forest and it started making a bit of a sky for me so i ended up going with dense forest blue sky and then dense forest dramatic sky ended up on that one i think it was yeah this one uh the next one was a water mill, so I had a few options here. Obviously, I've changed it so the background's different because I changed the background slightly. Ended up with with that one, and I didn't see a water wheel with it, so the next one was add a water wheel, which is there. There was a few options. I ended up with the first one. <laughs> this is crazy. And then I wanted to change the foreground, a little bit of foreground interest, so I I, I asked it for some grassy river bank at the at the front. Didn't quite work too well, but I liked having having this bit of wood down here, uh, like a bit of foreground interest, as you know. Uh, then I went for a bridge, various different options for bridges. I actually put in bride at first, wooden bride. I put in so it gave me these. That was hilarious. I'm wondering why it's giving me these. I don't know why. And then realised I put in wooden bride instead of wooden bridge, uh, and then. Ended up with a wooden bridge and ended up with that one. I thought it looked looked good. <laughs> and then I decided to add a hiker. Went through a few hikers, uh, different hikers. Didn't quite work. Ended up with your guy here. Uh, and then I wanted him to have a companion. So I went for a dog. A couple of different dogs there. Ended up with, what was it? That one. That one there. And then I extended it. Uh, which looked really, really good. This is crazy. And then I had a window into the into the mill, another window into the top of the mill, and then I added, or I did, I I made a uh, a layer at the top of all these, and did some adjustments in the camera raw. And <laughs> I mean, it you can see it's fake. the The water is it's obviously a a, a slightly longer exposure. You wouldn't get the man and the dog walking with this kind of exposure. It just wouldn't work. Uh, that's crazy, right? I'm not wrong. That is just nuts. Created that picture from nothing but a few prompts. That is is scary 
to me that is really really scary now i i don't know i mean this for commercial composites maybe uh for for if you if you if you do things like commercials that kind of stuff it's a pretty good tool if you're a photographer you might be worried i mean it worries me a little bit scary you know this is this is pretty i mean i'm enjoying using it that's the funny thing i enjoy using it i like the creative aspect of making art from photography like you know uh i don't even know know, know where i stand on this because i really like using it but i'm really scared to use it too because i don't know where that leaves the future of photography uh there's always going to be photography out. It, it may be i mean i put a big post out there on facebook yesterday asked people what they thought about the dirtle door image and stuff like that and the, the responses were, were fantastic it ranges everything from yeah that's great love it it's a good artistic tool to uh you know it, it's the end of the world for, for you know photographers i think somewhere in the middle you know it's gonna it's gonna hopefully make the lay person look at look at photography and ask if it's real or not so we can show that we are real photographers we can show our real work you know in terms of things like wedding photography uh which it which is a major business you know i did some stuff with firefly that's you know i just told fly uh, firefly to to make a picture of a bride in front of a a, a nice uh I think a hotel or something like that. And it popped out some really incredible images, which I thought were potentially uh, going to make, oh, you could put these images on, on your website and, and, and people might believe that they're real, which is scary because if someone's got a website and you pay a deposit to someone who you think is a really good photographer, when actually they're not a photographer at all, and then they just disappear, you're forking out money for something that, that do you see where I'm going with this? It's really scary stuff. I mean, AI has come on so much in the last year. It's now got to a point where, where it's it's just phenomenal. It's 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 just crazy good and crazy scary at the same time. And so I I I, I I'm on a fence, and I don't know which way I'm swaying, which way I'm going to go. I don't know, you know. So scary. Uh, but you know that's that's the future, and we have to kind of contend with what we've got, and hopefully it will make photographers be better at photography because we'll have to we'll have more of a struggle, and it means that the layperson who's looking for a photographer will ask the questions: Is that real photography? Are you a real photographer? And we can say yes. Here's my work. I don't do things like competitions, so so I know there's a worry about using this kind of stuff in competitions. I don't know how that's going to work. Frankly, I'm not that 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 bothered because I don't really do the competition side of things. But you would hope, you know, judges and stuff will be asking the questions, and 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 hopefully, you know, people aren't going to use AI to fool, you know, competitions and win stuff. I don't know what to say. It's really scary. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. I, I love it. This te this technology. So the the AI generative fill is also in let me have a look see if i can find it. it's also in the adobe firefly at the moment so uh firefly is or was you have to sign up to get it it's now free to uh so let me come out there so so firefly is now in, it's still in a beta version but it's free to use so you can go to fly firefly.adobe.com and you can get on here now you can look at some sample images and do what you want to do. So text to image we have here. Generative fill is there. So if you if you go into generative fill, you can upload one of your own images and try this out. You don't need the beta version of Photoshop to do this. You can do this, uh, this yourself. Uh, however, you can also actually use it in a text to image generative thing. So if I go on something here, let's look at, uh, and you can only use English on, on this, by the way. Uh, you can't use other languages at the moment. I'm assuming that's going to be an update. Uh, so if I go something like underwater uh, uh, murky seabed sunlight uh, sun rays coming down sun rays coming down from 
surface. See what happens, let's see what it gives us. This is Firefly, anyone can use this at the moment. You had to, as long as you've got an Adobe account, that is. Uh, so these are pretty nice. Let's go for something a little bit. Uh, we could, we've got a few options down the side. So let's go for more of a photo realistic look. We'll change this to a landscape. And let's add a color scheme, muted color, uh, lighting, dramatic, and composition. Let's have a narrow depth of field. Regenerate that. See what happens. Takes a little while. It's, this is all using. You need an internet connection for all of this, by the way. Even in Photoshop, the new Photoshop, you need to have an internet connection. I like this. This is good. Okay, let's look at this. Look at this one a bit closely. Uh, so I've got a few options here. I can download this. I can send it to the cloud, favorite it, all that kind of stuff. But I have generative fill inside this now as well. So if I click that, I then go to another screen. I can. Uh, do an area here and say add a whale and it'll give me some options down here a little bit like in Photoshop so this is now in online Firefly <laughs> look at that that's pretty good again it's taking where the lights coming from so it's got lights got perspective it's doing all that kind of stuff let's just generate another couple more see what it gives us uh, otherwise, I'll change change it to I don't know. It's just taking. It's just thinking. Let's go back. And uh, let's, let's just cancel uh, cancel that. Want to keep it? Let's go. Uh, blue well. Nuts! Absolutely nuts! See what it gives us. That's not giving us a blue well. It's not that good. Uh, nah, mm, mm, no. Might need to be bigger. Don't know. Perspective. It, 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 this would be quite close to the this, the, uh, the the camera perspective, if you like. Let's cancel that. Let's go uh, bigger here. Let's make it bigger. Actually, let's take it off the screen. See if it got the other well coming in. Blue well, generate. Let's see what it does. I swear it doesn't work. It should work. That's better. Oh, I'm liking some of these. I actually like that one. I don't think it's anything, but that's quite nice. Take look what it's done. It's it's, it's taken the lighting is brilliant. Let's leave that for the time being. Let's keep that. And now let's add another one. Let's do up here. Let's do a uh, diver. Generate. See what it gives us. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like that one. See what the, the, the light waves are going past over the top of the diver. It's considering where all the light's coming from. That is brilliant. That is, that is brilliant. Look at that. That's just incredible. The technology is just brilliant. It's come so far. And the fact that it's currently free to use, but it will be a paid, uh, uh, in, it'll be paid in, I don't know whether Firefly is going to be separate to the generative AI that's in Photoshop. I don't know how it's going to work yet, or it's just going to all trans, translate over to Photoshop. I don't know. Uh, there'll be a, a, a coin based kind of you'll need, I don't know, some coins to, to use the that part of Photoshop. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it means that the the creative who create, you know, how they, they, they're going to they'll spend that money out and give it to the people who create the original images in, in Adobe stock. I think that's perfect. I think it's brilliant. I just uh, I'm just scared for where this is going. I don't know where this is going to end up. I don't know how it's going to affect photographers. Uh, there's a lot of people very scared at the moment. There's a lot of people very excited. I'm kind of both. I just don't know what's going to happen. It's, it's going to be really hard to tell where we're going to go from here. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, are you using this? If so, what, what kind of stuff are you getting out of it? You know, how are you? Are you liking it? Are you not liking it? Is there stuff that it's not? There's, there's aspects of it that aren't, aren't great. You know, when you try and make a hyper-realistic 
uh, uh, photo. It struggles sometimes, especially with people. It's quite difficult, but it does something amazing. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this kind of content, please uh, whack a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so. Hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. There are more videos coming. Uh, I'll be talking about my book soon. I've got a book about Portsmouth with lots of pictures and lots of information about the history around Portsmouth and the areas that I go to. If you're interested in having a look at that or purchasing it, there is a link in the description of this video. That'd be fantastic. That's all published by Amazon. Uh, I just get a couple of quid out of that, which is really, really good. And I'm happy with it. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you all on another video. Take care. Bye.